Hi, I'm, I'm Jonah. I haven't really slept very much the past few days, but I'm absolutely ecstatic to present to you embarrassment. Um, so the whole idea is it's supposed to motivate you to work out through embarrassment. So I'll walk through how it works. So we'll sign up, um, enter an email. I'll use my Grace Shopper um, email. Then you put the amount of times that you're looking to work out in a week. So let's say I want to work out two times in a week. Um, then I'll put the address of my gym. Um, I'll use my um, home address here in New York. It has autocomplete, and then it uses a Google API to ensure that I'm actually at the right location for my gym, because that's very important for the app. I'll then put my secret, so I don't know, I'm so tired. And if you're actually using it, you'd probably put something a bit more embarrassing. And then you input the phone number of the person who I guess you either want to or are scared for the secret getting out from. So I'll use my own phone number for this. And then once I sign up, uh, uh, I must sign out before. OK. Um, sorry, I'll um, sign up fast again. Um, the lack of sleep getting to me. Um, two times. It's my fault for putting too much verification and I probably should not have done that. Okay, um, so I'm now logged in and I can see my dashboard, um, which is how many days are remaining in the week. This is actually simulating live for all users. Um, it was one of the more challenging parts of the app. As you can see, it's updating live, and each user has um, different numbers of days remaining. So it's a three-strike system. So I still have three strikes left. Um, two strikes, I've still completed zero of two workouts. I can see my secret, and I haven't worked out ever. Um, when I get to zero days remaining, um, you can see I now have two strikes. And it will actually send me an email here, embarrassment approaches. Um, so now, um, back to my um, dashboard. Um, so in order to work out, I also um, actually built an app as well. Um, so I'll log in. Oh my gosh. Oh, here we go. So I'm checked in. I check in. It's actually using um, my, the location of this, which I set to be my house on the simulator. It will now say. Oh, check in. I now have completed a workout. The reason that it didn't register the first time was because it actually registered it in my um, second week, and I already lost a strike. Um, so I now have completed one of two workouts. This still is not enough workouts for the week. Um, and it, it also has functionality where if I check in and then check in again, it notifies that I have to wait longer before checking in. Um, so once, um, if I don't check in enough times and I lose all three strikes, um, which I guess I'll have to wait a few seconds to happen. As you can see, the last workout time is now zero days ago um, because I did check in those times from my app. Um, but when we run out of days, um, just stalling for time here, it will send a text message secret to me. Um, so the whole point is really you want to check in and work out um, to avoid it texting you or texting your friend your secret. Um, yep, here, I just got um, sent a text message secret that says, I'm so tired. And also, we can see here, um, I'm no longer logged in, because it will delete my account, so it doesn't keep harassing them with the same secret. Um, <laughs> so embarrassment uh, for when fear of decreased life expectancy and quality of life are not enough. Um, <laughs> sign up. It will test that you're actually at the gym. And text your friend your secret if you aren't. Thanks so much.